Racks rolling in or out of the dishwasher on their own are a result of the dishwasher not being level. This is an installation issue, not a dishwasher issue. Normally, leveling issues are addressed by the installer. If you want to level the dishwasher yourself, this video will describe the appropriate procedure. Please also reference the steps outlined in the dishwasher installation instructions. All models have a toe kick that will need to be removed. Additionally, models with a throw latch have an access panel that must be removed before leveling can occur. You will need a quarter inch nut driver or a Phillips head screwdriver to complete this process. 1. Begin by turning off the power to the dishwasher at the circuit breaker. 2. Put on gloves to protect your hands. 3. Gain access to the leveling legs by removing the lower panel or panels from your dishwasher. Models with a throw latch have two panels, an access panel and a toe kick panel. Remove the access panel and toe kick by unscrewing the two screws located on the top of the access panel with a quarter inch nut driver. Then, remove the two screws below the access panel. Set both panels aside. Models that do not have a throw latch only have a toe kick panel. Remove this panel by unscrewing the top two screws holding it in place. Set this panel aside. 4. Remove the two countertop screws from the underside of the cabinet using a Phillips head screwdriver. Five, remove the lower rack from the dishwasher. Six, place a level on the rail that the rack rolls along to check if the dishwasher is level from front to back. Seven, place a level on the door to check if the dishwasher is level from left to right. Eight, adjust the leveling screws using your fingers or an open end adjustable wrench one at a time until the dishwasher is level both front to back and side to side. To adjust the back legs, pull the unit forward to distribute the weight towards the front. To adjust the front leveling legs, push the unit backwards to distribute the weight of the unit onto the back legs. Nine, place a level on the rail that the rack rolls along to check if the dishwasher is level from front to back. 10, place a level on the door to check if the dishwasher is level from left to right. 11, make sure that the door fully closes after you've determined that the dishwasher is level by ensuring that it does not hit the top or side of the cabinet. 12. Replace the two countertop screws from the underside of the cabinet using the Phillips head screwdriver. 12. If your model has a throw latch with two panels, an access panel and a toe kick panel, replace the two access panel screws located on top of the panel with a quarter inch nut driver.
Use a quarter inch nut driver or a Phillips head screwdriver to replace the two screws below the access panel. Models that do not have a throw latch have only a toe kick panel. Replace both toe kick screws. Replace the lower rack. 13. To determine if leveling was the issue, open the dishwasher door to make sure that the dishwasher rack does not roll in or out on its own. 14. Restore power to the dishwasher at the circuit breaker. Checklist. 1. Turn off the power at the circuit breaker before you begin. 2. Wear gloves to protect your hands from edges. 3. Level from front to back and side to side. 4. Ensure the dishwasher door closes properly after leveling.